Ah, good morning, and well, yeah, good morning, uh, and welcome to another exciting edition of In the Kitchen with Samantha and Doug. I'm Doug, this is Samantha, and uh, today we're doing a special World Cup edition, as well as belated Father's Day edition. Uh, so, when you think of fathers, I typically think of total, total, uh, no help in the kitchen. So, well, I figured we'd go with some recipes that are helpful to guys in the kitchen, especially you dads out there. So, of course, as I was eating a cheeseburger the other day, I was reading the back of my Heinz ketchup bottle, and they have recipes. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. So, we picked one, and today we're going to be making, uh, I don't know, cheeseburger mac and cheese or something like that. Sounds gross, but we're going to find out. So, what we've got here is I've uh, got some water on the boil. We've got a variety pack of noodles. We, we really didn't have one type, so we've just got a whole hodgepodge of nonsense in there. And cubed processed cheese. Now, they were specific on processed. I figured that was to cut some of the delightfulness of the cup of Heinz tomato ketchup that we're about to put into the you know mac and cheese. And then some of this uh, garlic, onion, powdery stuff. And, and then water. So And maybe some ground beef. Yeah, where is the ground beef? It's in the fridge. Right. And then you're going to have to do the ground beef stuff. Is this this? No, dear. That's turkey. Did you want to just heat up some pizza? No. Bottom right. Uh, got it. Okay. <clears throat> so, once you find your meat, you're going to want to get that out and get that cleaned up. Let's take a quick break, and we'll get that started, and we'll be right back on In the Kitchen with Samantha and Doug. Okay. Okay. Now, we're back. What I've got here is some uh, vegetable oil. We're going to take just a, uh, on medium heat here, take a tablespoon of that. I felt uh, like a tablespoon. Really? Did you just tip? Was that, wasn't that a tablespoon? Let me see the pan. No. Oh. How's that? Is that better? Do one more. You, that's a, okay, put a cup of oil into the freaking pan. There you go. Because that's way more than a tablespoon. I don't know what kind of table you use as a spoon. And then you want to take your meat, open this up. When you're handling meat, it's very important to uh, keep everything very clean and all that and just right in there. on that, Samantha, my assistant here, is working on a, what looks like a cookie dog, it really does look like a dog treat. You tell me. Dog treat? Yeah. We feed our kid dog treats. Uh, while the beef is sitting there, it's important to salt your uh, pasta water with a nice dabble of salt. Yeah, that much right there. And then uh, you're going to want to break up your beef. Like that. Because it helps it cook all the way through. You really don't want a medium rare hamburger meat in this type of uh, scenario. It's a great way to make everybody really sick. So uh, we have a ways to go on this. Let's take a quick break. We'll move ahead a little bit. And uh, we'll be uh, right back here. Hi. Alright, welcome back. We've got the uh, the sizzle going here on the, uh, the beef. You'll notice that the color is turning from red to brown. That's very good. We've got a good boil going over here. Is your dog treat not treat, treating you well? Hmm? Uh, so this is boiling. So we're going to dump some pasta in. Now you want to take... Two cups of elbow macaroni or whatever you have laying around. Right into the pot. Whee! All right, and we're gonna stir that up. Well, there's lots of different pastas in there. All right. Okay, come back to the beef. This is almost ready to start adding additional ingredients. It's really looking good, smells great, can't wait. Uh, do we have anything to add? 
Not until your beef is done. Beef. Okay, beef's almost done. We'll be right back. Okay. Okay. We're back. Now, the pasta is almost ready. Uh, it was important to note that on the box it said just seven to eight minutes to al dente. Just perfect. So we're going to cut the heat on that and strain it. Boy, doesn't that look good. Mm. And now with the completed pasta. Same way you're going. Oh. I know, this is really a lot of fun. <laughs> We're going to then add all of our ingredients together. Starting with... Uh, water. Water, yeah. Let's go with the water. You're going to add three cups water. I chose tap water for this. I think that's going to be a nice addition. You can use purified water if you prefer. But as uh, as my producer said, this is going to be a really tasty dish because our sauce consists of cheese, water, and I think that's it. So this is going to be awesome. And we're going to stir that water in. Mmm. I love a good watery beef. Onion powder. I don't even know what it is. <coughs> That's good. Stir that in. We have to do the key ingredient to this. Your mother didn't put the one cup measuring cup back. It's the big one. What's that say? Read it. Read it. There's a bigger one in there. No, there's not. You mean this one? Is that bigger or smaller? Any of these look bigger to you? Jeez. Samantha, can you tell mommy if any of those are bigger? <laughs> so use two of these. Oh, you're getting complicated. Man's cooking over there. All right, and cut to generic ketchup. Oh boy! Oh, it's coming out. Oh. <laughs> Be careful that you don't get your finger in the ketchup. Oh. Just for future reference to anyone who is ever wondering, Giant Eagle brand ketchup is a lot thinner than the Heinz ketchup. We're going to see if that makes any taste difference. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's, that's not quite two cups. We're going to have One cup. to go back. So the ratio that we're going to end up using is, uh, I don't know, three quarters of a cup generic runny nasty looking ketchup and then the real stuff here. <laughs> Sam, don't, don't help or anything. It's fine. I got this. We'll just add some more there. In. That all looks good. Yeah. Mm, I can't wait to eat this. Boy, it looks delicious. Okay, we stir in that. What? Why don't you come on over here and get a look at this? This looks so good to eat. I just can hardly contain myself. Now, you at home may be sitting there saying, boy, that looks like muddy water. But uh, I see delightfulness. So we're going to turn the heat up a little bit. And then uh, we're going to add, I think our cheese is next. Mmm, boy. This all looks good. Oh, and cover. I gotta cover this thing? Oh, man. I'll have a lid. You add your pasta. I, well, yeah, but I, when do I add the cheese? Oh, I add cheese. So, the pasta's going in. Here we go. One. It's stuck. Oh, God. Mm, boy, this 
this looks good. So I think we have to let this simmer for a couple minutes. And uh, yeah, we're going to reduce the heat and simmer for 8 to 10 minutes. For an, yeah, that, yeah, 8 to 10 minutes. So uh, instead of you sitting here for 8 to 10 minutes, we're going to have Mandy walk around the house and show you pictures of the family until this is done. Go ahead, Mandy. Okay, so while you were gone, this has been simmering and uh, hopefully some of the water will evaporate. Uh, really still not sure what's going to happen here. I'm actually going to go ahead and take a little salt and pepper and uh, season this just a little bit due to the fact that uh, I don't think this is going to have a lot of taste. Now, here comes the fun part. we got to get this cheese processed cheese mind you and not we did not go with the Velveeta that's bad processed cheese we want to step lower and just went giant eagle cheese nothing against the good folks at the Big Bird but I'm imagining this isn't the best stuff for you okay here we go And now we're just going to stir till it's done, I think. <clears throat> I know, I can't believe it. I'm not eating that. You have to try it. Samantha and I worked very hard on this. Now you'll notice here that the cheese is blending in nicely with the water, creating more of a cheesy puddle. Sam, hey, no, no. I know you want to just throw it in the trash, but that's not, we have to eat it. It's time to take the simmer off. <laughs> simmer? Me, for just a Can you bring those back out here? Oh, boy, you're just so excited to taste some of it, you're running. Why? Mm, boy. Uh, while we're waiting for this to do whatever it is we're gonna it's gonna do here, uh, we want to remind everyone to please go to our website, uh, youtube.com backslash Amanda Berkeley, and uh, send us your comments, uh, tweet at us, or uh, follow us on Instagram, or check us out on Facebook. Um, we're looking for new ideas so that I don't choose things like recipes off the back of the Heinz ketchup bottle um, because this it looks funny why don't we take a break yeah let's uh, let's regroup here while I figure out what this is supposed to do better to try this uh, first off, let's do a side-by-side -side of what Heinz thinks this was going to actually turn out to look like. Doesn't look too bad, does it? And then what we actually came up with. Okay, Sam, let's try this. Oh, God. I don't think I'd feed this to my dog. But we're going to give it to you. Okay, try it. She can't even touch it. I think it's gone. Oh. Get it for it. I want to. Now, as I mentioned at the top, this is typically what happens when Hard-working dads try to help out with uh, with the kitchen stuff. You end up with something that looks like this. I don't think I can do it. Hot. Oh. What's that? I don't think the good folks at Heinz have actually eaten any of their recipes. That is nothing but ketchup. So. Oh, man. Jeez. 
Sam's licking the bowl. <laughs> it is also 8.20 in the morning, so this was never going to taste good to begin with. Stop it. Oh. So, with that... <laughs> With that, uh, thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next time right here in the kitchen. Uh, this is uh, Doug and Sam. Cheers, Sam. Cheers. Yeah. All right, we'll just go with it. All right. Oh. <laughs>